Warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session we are going to discuss about ISO 27032-2012 which is Information Technology Security Techniques Guidelines for Cyber Security. Before we start let me tell you what all we will discuss in this session point by point. During this session we will be discussing what is ISO 27032 and why do we need this standard. Benefits of ISO 27032 What are the controls of ISO 27032? And what can you do to manage cyber security consistently? So let's begin our discussion and talk about what is ISO 27032 standard is all about and why do we need this standard. The ISO 27032 is a cyber security standard that was created to protect sensitive data from being compromised during exchanges by means of hacking, sabotage or unauthorized modifications. It provides resources for managing it within an organization and enables methods for safeguarding online operations and activities, including software, data management services. It also includes training the individuals who will be in charge of handling these resources. Among its goals is to facilitate collaboration between entities such as CSF, Cyber Security Framework, and to address gaps in prior regulations regarding cyber security. Why do we need ISO 27032? As our reliance of cyberspace grows, so does the likelihood that it may be compromised, making ISO 27032 a need for all organizations. ISO 27032 provides guidance for long-term process preservation and allows organization to establish a framework. ISO 27032 identifies and categorizes the process within an organization that are most vulnerable to cyber threats, allowing you to take measures to protect your customer and other stakeholders. It's a great way to reassure your stakeholders that you are prepared for the challenge of dealing with any cyber threats that may rise. In addition, ISO 27032 includes cyber security training, which teaches your employees the security protocols against phishing, scams, cyber stalking, hackers, data theft, malware, and other forms of digital monitoring. Although the goals and objectives of ISO 27032 may seem similar to ISO 27001, the focus of ISO 27032 is a narrowed down to cyber security, whereas ISO 27001 focuses on the broader specs of information security or security protocols in general. So let's talk about what are the benefits of security management. ISO 27032 encompasses the management of your cyber security protocols. However, if you do not already have a strategy for cyber security management in place, here are a few important points to consider. Cyber security management can help too. The first one is protect the organization's data and privacy from cyber threats. ISO 27032 is an effective cyber security strategy that safeguards an organization's private information and data from hackers and other cyber criminals. In addition, it offers advice on how to deal with widespread cyber security threats such those posed to individuals, users, devices, networks and essential infrastructure. The second one is strengthen your skills in the establishment and maintenance of a cyber security program. It covers everything from risk assessment and information security management to incident response and business continuity planning. It also includes guidance on how to build a culture of cyber security within your organization and develop training programs that are able to help employees achieve their goals. The third one is build confidence in stakeholders about your security measures. Your stakeholders are increasingly aware of cyber threats. They want to make sure that their personal information is safe and not at risk of being stolen or lost in cyberspace. Therefore, organizations that take measures to improve cyber security will generate consumer trust. The fourth one is response and recover faster in the event and incident. In the event of a cyber attack, 
having cyber security processes already implemented will allow you to quickly respond to and fix the issues caused. This further prevents organizations suffering legal issues and theft fines linked and loss of information. So we will talk about what are the controls of ISO 27032. A solid cyber security practice and the utilization of existing ISO 27001. Information security controls are prerequisites for the successful implementation of the technical controls outlined in ISO 27032. If an organization is ISO 27001 compliant, the technical controls for cyber security will be easier to apply. ISO 27032 introduces the following technical controls for cyber security. The first one is secure coding. The goal of secure coding is to ensure that the code that is being written is not vulnerable or susceptible to attack from hackers. The second one is network monitoring and response. Network monitoring helps to ensure that network services remain reliable and available while also protecting against malicious activities such as distributed denial of service, attacks DDoS or software exploits. Network response helps to mitigate damage caused by these attacks by restoring services quickly in the event of an attack. The third one is server level controls. This ensures that servers are securely accessible from cyberspace and protected against unauthorized access. This can be done by implementing a strong authentication mechanism on each server, implementing encryption for all traffic passing between servers or creating a secure configuration management system for software development life cycles for all applications. The fourth one is application level controls. Protect against unauthorized data edits by having strong authentication mechanism on each application, ensuring that all data is encrypted with strong key management techniques and requiring clear documentation of how data is stored or edited. The fifth one is end user workstation controls. Protect the end user infrastructure across organizations against known exploits and attacks. These controls can be implemented through a combination of education, training and awareness programs. So let's move forward and talk about what can you do to manage cybersecurity consistently. Once you have implemented cybersecurity measures and a strong management strategy according to ISO 27032, it is important that the processes are maintained correctly. Providing continuous training for employees ensures that they are attentive and know how to act in case of a cybersecurity incident. It saves time and controls the issues until it is resolved. Reviewing and monitoring of the implemented strategy also makes sure that each control is being carried out efficiently. If there are gaps in the strategy, regular monitoring allows you to fix them in time. Cybersecurity plays an immense role in the modern business world as we rely more on the cyberspace on the daily basis. Considering the latest statics, the risk of security threats is increasing accordingly. ISO 27032 is a framework to enable stakeholders to collaborate on resolving cybersecurity issues. So we have now come to the conclusion of this session. In case you have any questions regarding what we have discussed today, then please put them in the comment section of the video and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, it's Beshosas from TNV Academy. Thank you.